Hello everyone and welcome to my Python programming tutorial. This is uh, my f this is my first video on Python programming. So we will start from the basic installation of Python. For this, first we have to download Python. Go on python.org slash downloads. Then we have to select the latest version. Always go for the latest version of Python. So right now the latest version is Python 3.6. Click on this one. It will take you to another web page. On this one, just go to the very bottom of this web page. Over here you have files. So if you are using the Macintosh operating system, if you have the Apple computers, you have to click on this link. Otherwise you go for Windows executable installer click on this one I will be doing for the windows because I have windows operating system save it on your computer and click on this one to start the installation part I will click on install now it will ask the permission from your computer just say yes and it will start the installation for the last okay so when you are done so installation is complete close and to test whether your Python is successfully installed or not for Windows click on the window icon and over here I will go alphabetically for the letter P over here so here is my Python folder Python 3.6 if I click on the drop-down menu this Python 3.6 is the command prompt version. We will be using the idle version. This is the GUI version. Click on this one just to test if my Python is successfully installed. So to check, I will say print the basic statement that is printing hello world. This is how you print in Python hit enter and here I can see the hello world output so it means my Python is successfully installed close and I will be downloading the PyCharm uh, for this uh, you have to go to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm slash download hit enter and I will download the community version of PyCharm download and save For Python, I use PyCharm, so uh, just click next. You will see why I use PyCharm. I will create the shortcut. PyCharm is very efficient and it's really easy to code. You can see the errors. There is an area for coding as well as you can see the output on console. Just what a programmer need for programming. And almost done. So I will click this checkbox to run my PyCharm because I want to see if my PyCharm is successfully installed or not so here it is I do not have any previous version of PyCharm so I will select this icon say ok so if you are a beginner you are downloading first time you will also go for the second option create my new project and over here you have to give the name for your project so I am giving a name is hello world and I am creating create yes these are the tips just close and here is my hello world project so just right click on this project and I will say new python file and my python file just making it simple hello name is hello so here I can see my python file hello.py py is the extension used in python again I will test with my simple hello world statement to check if my python is working fine to uh, run this one we have this play button over here which is right now not safe because for this you need to go on run and say run hello 
when at first time when you say run hello you you have to go over here because or either you can save the file first and then you can see here is the shortcut this play button to run your python files here is the console and you can see the output on your console so this is how you download and install python and pycharm on your computer that's it for today thank you bye bye